I've got a 2009 GMC Canyon and I wanted to make a really short video about the interior fan. So on my truck, speed one, two, and three all work, but full speed, speed four, doesn't work. Now there's a ton of videos out there. It's a really common problem for these little resistors to go bad. There's a lot of other videos out there to show how to replace these. In my case, I tried replacing the resistor, it did not help. And so I wanted to show you what I ended up finding in case it's your problem, I'll show you how to fix it. Let's get started. So just to show you what's going on here, this is just an extra switch I got from the junkyard. It just sits in there like this. You have power coming in on this black wire, and then depending on the position of the switch, you'll turn on either low, medium, high, or full power. And so in my case, I looked at this orange wire, the high speed that wasn't working, and I wanted to see if I could figure out why this was not getting all the way down to the resistor. So I've already taken the glove box off here. To do that, there's just three screws here, here, and here. And then the glove box can just pull down and out. Um, and then underneath here, you've got the actual fan that connects right here. And then you've got your resistor that can plug in right here. If you need to replace your resistor, you can just pop out these screws and the whole thing pulls down slide in something like this. This is what it looks like. And the idea is that the fan will actually cool this thing down as it's heating up. Now in my case, the wires are coming from the switch around through here, this wire here, through this connector, and then down to the resistor. And when I had my multimeter, I checked and I did not have continuity down to here. I did have continuity up to here, however, and so I know that the problem must be between here and here and I can't get this apart. My hunch is that this must have melted and burned up inside, and so I can't really get it apart. I don't really see any reason to try to force it apart. And so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just going to cut this orange wire here and here, and I'm just going to splice them together. I don't see a reason to ever take this thing apart, and so I'm just gonna make it nice and permanent, and we're gonna see if I can get high speed working. And that's that. Now we can put it back together and see if it works. Second speed works, third speed works, and we've got high speed. All right. So that's it, super easy fix. Uh, if you think you need a resistor, this is probably a much more common problem on these trucks. I'll put a link to where you can get one of these in the description. Uh, other than that, uh, should just be able to use a standard butt connector for electrical connections. I'll put a link in the description for those two, I guess, if you think you might need them. Super easy fix. Glad to get it done. Other than that, I hope you found this helpful.